guys. It's quilting. How are we all going? It is hot. The shed is hot. Uh, a lot of water got in here over the um, last couple of days. We had a lot of rain. So it's, it's just really moist. Okay, but past that, Alpha was there. He's now gone. Disappeared. Um, so what I'm going to do is a bit different. I'm going to try something I personally haven't done a lot of work with. And it's going to be a resin desk. So I'm going to use this as the tabletop. So it's a piece of silky oak straight from uh, the millers. Nothing, nothing done to it. Uh, some prefab legs, little desk legs. Normally you'd use them for a seat, but uh, they're for my tiny daughter, so they're going to be the legs. Uh, and up the back here, we've got some Feast Watson, we've got some two part liquid gloss crystal um, resins. So the plan is I don't know if you've seen them before on chopping blocks or uh, charcuterie, charcuterie serving boards. Um, they usually have like a weird little looking resin that looks like ocean kind of waving up the, the chopping block um, serving platter. So I'm going to give this a go and I'm going to turn this into a little bit of an ocean desk for my daughter. So um, yeah, it's going to be a learning experience for both of us. I've had a little bit of experience with resin but not enough to like do like a small table. So I think this is going to work out amazing. I've, I've heard a lot of people having a lot of dramas with resins and all the good stuff that comes with uh, not mixing it correctly, cloudy, but who cares? Let's give it a go. Okay, uh, straight into it. This, what you see in front of you, is what you would probably get if you went to your local timber supplier, wood guy, miller, tree miller, um, who use a Lucas mill. Uh, so this is straight off the mill. Um, it's a small piece of wood, uh, cost me near nothing. Uh, the cool thing about silky oak is that it has these little tiny, um, Bic, like the big lighter flames all the way through it. And I'll give you a closer look shortly. But um, I think once it's cleaned up, once it's polished, and then once we put this resin over the top, it's going to be a nice little, um, nice live edge table uh, for my daughter to use as a dining table at the moment. They're going through this weird phase where she likes to use everything as a table, and she's a big girl now, or a little desk that she can do arts and crafts on. So uh, that's the plan for this video. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to show you a few little things. We're going to learn together. We're going to have a go. I've got a heat gun this time, so we're not going to mess around with burning the resin. We're just going to get it heated. Um, because live and learn, fire, not good, and I'm underneath my own house. Okay, so stay tuned. As I said, thank you once again to everyone subscribing and sharing my videos. I, as I said, I cannot say thank you enough. I really um, am enjoying doing the videos for you guys. But I'll, um, I'll get straight into it. Enough of me chit-chatting and sweating up a storm, we'll, uh, we'll get straight into the action. Cheers, guys. Like this little piece is like quite heavy um, for the size. It's probably about 30 mil or uh, just over half an inch. Um, so not half an inch, about, about an inch, an inch and a bit, American. Um, but yeah, about 30 mil. Normally slabs come in 50 mil, 75. Um, so yeah, this is why that one you would have saw the prices. Uh, it's at 50 bucks, 30 bucks, 5 to 20 because um, yeah, it's definitely not even worth that, really. Okay.
fuck's sake, turn your equipment off. Saw me fill in these little wood burrow holes all the way through um, with any slab timber. They're not going to be perfect. Um, looks like it's had a heap of insects burrowing through it here and over there, which I've all patched up now. And because we're using a resin, um, I don't want anything to kind of bead through and draw away from that, that volume of resin and that thickness, and I don't want it to pull out the back of the wood timber really. Um, okay, so that's all done, it's all patched. What I need to do now is just trim the edges, and with the live edge, I'm not keeping the live edge. I'm going to keep this side here and I'll lightly tidy it up, but I'm not going to be keeping the bark on like what we do for our big live edge tables. This bark here I'm going to rip down a bit, and this side here, with the um, uneven live edge, I'm going to use as the beach coming up the um, towards the um, sand up here. So if you can imagine that, that's what I'm kind of angling at here. I'm just going to trim these edges up now, make them nice and smooth, so uh, it's nice sharp. It just to cut yourself on. Now you can see the thickness the difference here to here. That's why I said it wasn't worth 50, 30, probably wasn't worth 20. So yeah, as I said, it's like inch up here, half inch down here. I'll show you why too. It's got a heap of rot through it. And as I said, didn't pay much for it, but yeah, it needs it needs a lot more work than I was expecting for a 20 buck. talking about with those little match heads the little flames some people call it flame oak but yeah silky oak has this beautiful little pattern that goes all the way through it so that was 180 over the top what I'm gonna do is come back to it tomorrow hopefully the shed cools down and get some moisture out of here as well before I do resining all right so all I'm doing is just gonna paint this part along here just so when the resin goes on, it uh, looks nice and deep and dark up this end.
dressed in the appropriate attire, but I'm just coming down and doing odd bits and bobs each time. So I didn't realize these, each layer would take about 24 hours to cure, and then you do another thing. So this is my first stuff up. Um, I did a bit of a practice run. I mixed some blues into a, like a pearlescent blue. I tried to do how I saw it was done online, um, which was like you pour a layer, then you pour a little white, and then you heat it, and then you make it look, um, you know, like the ocean, but that, that really didn't pan out the way I thought um, and just kind of mixed and become really, really, really terrible uh, looking. Um, so what I'm doing with this one is um, slowly applying each layer. So this one here, you would have saw I painted it with the colours that I plan on and that, all that's doing is giving it some depth. Um, now I'm going to pour a light blue over here. So from along here, I will just kind of follow that line. And I'll let it dry again for another 24 hours. Um, and then the next one will be a teal pearlescent. And then once that's all dried, then I'll add the white resin and then uh, try and do the, I think it's called like cells and um, wave, do the wave effect. But um, instead it's a learning experience. I'm really enjoying doing it. It's just um, taking a little longer than I thought. So uh, we'll just keep going and we'll see where we're at in the next couple of days. Uh, with this stuff, my current mix is uh, three to five. So, a bit confusing, but that means 50 mil of the big stuff of the uh, liquid, and then it's like 30 mil of hardener, which is fairly easy. And then the other thing that I have learned, it is one part, one out of ten, resin to paint mix. Right. That kind of, there's a camera, there we go. So, one to ten. Paint, three to five resin hardener. That's my pearlescent blue. Now I tried to mechanically stir it as well uh, with the drill bit and a mixer. Uh, for this small amount, it just aerated the bejesus out of it and um, just just I really had to work to get the um the bubbles out with the heat gun um, but yeah I was told less is more uh, once you've got your uh your mix you can add a little bit more to darken it up but yeah go go less first and have a have a look and then adjust accordingly. But as I said, this is my first time working with resin, so um, please don't hate. Right, let's see how we go. So I'm just following that blue line. Like it's it's a good that I've, I think it's good that I've put the where I kind of want the resin to go. Um, as I said, if I'm doing something wrong, feel free to tell me in the comments because um, yeah, I'm learning just like you guys.
It's a lot harder than it looks. There's probably things I'm doing wrong here, but... You can see what I mean about the black flies. I have to keep picking them out. I don't know how people stop them. <laughs> they just keep flying in. First go, I think that looks mint. Right, it's like day 600, year 2027. Um, this is taking a long time. Right, so you can see where we're at now. I am going to do another pour. This time the shed's all closed, so the flies aren't going to get in. I don't have to deal with that mess anymore. Right, so I'm just going to get straight into this. I'm just going to do another mi uh, resin mix, another pour, and we'll see where we're at again. Hope you enjoy. We are again uh, day 727 I don't know I feel like this is for me this is taking a long time this has been over a week now um, so that's that's all the layers done and these are the prefab legs, legs that I was talking about what I need to do to the top I'm not going to touch it as I said this is an arts and crafts table so I'm not going to um play with it too much it's just for my daughter and she's gonna love it it's the beach she's gonna think there's fishes in it and whatnot um,
gentlemen. Oh, we're on way down the ground. We're not getting up. I'll need my wife to get get me back up. All right. So key is the beach coffee table or beach craft table, whatever you want to call it. We probably will use this as a little coffee table uh, once she gets older. Uh, it's too pretty not to really. Okay, so with the design of this, this is my only specification that I have to work on. This chair, the dum dum, which it does perfectly. It's not going to pinch your knees or anything. Um, so the one uh, design feature, it passes. The reason I got was for me to do a bit of practice with the stuff. I've always wanted to try it. Um, I would say I will count this as my first go because the other one flies and the one that was just a mess, that first go don't count as redoesies. We just we're gonna redo that one. It doesn't count, practice run, no counts. This is my first resin ever resin river, resin ocean table. Um, and as I said I've got a lot left over, so I've got about three litres. So I'll probably try a lazy Susan or um, little coffee table. Uh, but I'll put it in the community page and I'll, um, I might actually do a poll this time and I'll let you guys choose. Uh, you're pretty quick on choosing this one, so I guarantee you'll probably let me know really fast on what you do want. Um, anyway guys, that's, um, that's me, Quilty, and I'm, I'm done. I've enjoyed doing it. Um, the part I enjoyed was finishing it. Did not enjoy that it took days and days to dry. Um, so yeah. Watch what I do, because I did a lot of things that are wrong on this, uh, and I guarantee people are going to tell me in the comments what I did wrong. But, end result, fit form function, it does all that. Fit form function, it's a bloody table, and it functions as a table. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, and you've enjoyed watching me stuff up heaps of things, um, please like, comment, subscribe, share it around to your friends, share it around to everybody, um, and I'll just keep making these things. Alright guys, thank you very much, it's cool to you out. Oh, Alright, sit, sit down. Oh, I'm gonna...